We've been looking at altitude training. Um, now, for altitude training, it's uh, a couple of things. Uh, people struggle when they go to altitude. If you go up to, say, Mount Cook, for instance, or go to somewhere like Colorado, you'll find that you breathe quite heavily for the first wee while, and you maybe get a little bit dizzy. Um, so that's the effect of altitude on the body. And if you have to exercise, for instance, in altitude, it becomes quite hard for some people. So we try and uh, acclimatise them to altitude. So we can do that by getting them to breathe a low oxygen air before they go there, or perhaps go to altitude um, before they go there, you know, and train at altitude. So that's one area, and the other the other way we look at it is, uh, and it's quite new, is using the same sort of principle, um, but having person stay at low level, and get them to train at altitude. So they're breathing low oxygen air through tubes, and we're getting them to train so that when they um, perform, they perform better. You can get that stress if you've got a lot of money, by going overseas to very high altitudes, but a lot of New Zealand athletes don't have that money. So we have to figure out ways in which we can help them get the same stress at a lower cost. It's one of the things that um, you can experience yourself. So when I went to St Moritz, um, I was following the Netherlands um, triathlon team with John Hellemans. And when I got up there, you could, you know, you can definitely feel um, how it would affect you. Um, even though I wasn't doing much of the exercise. <laughs>